Peace, what's going on YouTube family? You're here with your boy Wrench Turner and today we have another bomb car review. Today we have the 2016 Jeep Cherokee, Grand Cherokee that is, and today we're going to be getting into it. First thing that you would notice walking up to this Grand Cherokee is the massive 20s that it has on it. Most Cherokees, Cherokees from back in the day, they didn't have 20s on them. Most of them came with 17s or 18s on them. Even in the 90s when they had the Cherokee, when they had the BBS style honeycomb rims on them. But these right here, 20s, and they wide too. They not just some skinny 20s. 265, 50, 20s. It's about that much traction on your tires. Another thing that you would notice getting into the uh, Grand Cherokee is that you'll notice the leather. Good quality leather, front and back. They didn't go cheap on the back and just have the front looking nice. You got most of your controls up here. Right here on the on the fly, you got other controls over there on the on the dash, on the fly, on the steering wheel. Normal dash. One thing I noticed about this truck when I got into it, that it wasn't a CD player. You know, and I guess it's like the time and era that we in right now. I guess it's like CDs are obsolete. Didn't have a five disc in here, ten disc, nothing. Just didn't have a CD player at all. When you get into the back of the Grand Cherokee, like I mentioned in the front, they didn't go cheap on the leather in the back. The leather in the back is the same leather in the front. Feels good, soft leather. You'll notice back here is two USB ports. So they did away with the cigarette lighter port and just put two USBs. And that's really dope. And also you have an AC plug back here. So anything that you want to plug up that's household or whatever, you can plug it up back here without having an AC DC converter. You got your heated seats back here for both passengers and it goes up to two levels on each one you have your vents back here also uh, see i get back here uh kind of comfortably if you will one of the things that i noticed too about this truck is that i can recline my seat <laughs> and that's always good especially when you're back seat riding and you're going on a far trip you don't want to be like this for two, three hours and you're going somewhere that leaves you real comfortable, real uncomfortable, pardon me. But, uh, you know, there's no TV back here or anything like that to entertain the kids on that per se long trip. I mean, but it's not like something can't be installed in here. I, that's easy. Now that we're at the back, of the 2016 Grand Cherokee. As always with the Cherokees, you got your trunk pop right here. But it doesn't feel how the Jeeps of old feel. Like you got a you got a leave in there that you can pull to pull up your lift gate. Or you can just press a button. Back here in the back, you got your cover. You can move your cover back. And you can see your space. Got your full spare back here. There is not a sub back here like you know some other cars have. Some other car manufacturers have chose to get rid of your spare and put a sub back there. I don't know how that sub is supposed to help you when you're on the side of the road, meaning 
to go on with your day. But uh, that's what some manufacturers chose to do. But with the Jeep, they got holders in here to basically brace the spare tire. And then you got space to put whatever you want to put right there. I, I feel like that's really dope. Whoever designed that to do that, kudos to you, my guy. That was dope. And of course, just like other Dodge products or Chrysler products, you have a sub back here. A lot of cars don't have subs back here. They leave that for you to do. You got your DC plug back here in case you're tailgating and you want to plug something up. Over here, I don't know what the hell you got over here. Whatever this thing is, uh, oh, it's a flashlight, word. I didn't even know uh, they made these things. That's dope. Jeep making its own products now. And then you got your mesh for your gate. Basically, you make a web gate. And you can hook them right here, you can hook them over here, you can hook them right there, hook them right there. Or you got spots where you can hook them to right here in case you got something real big. And you can press the button right here to close your lift gate or you can just press a button. <laughs> now that we're at the back of the car and you know I showed you the lift gate one of the main things that like is a is a big thing now is seeing and hearing a car's cold start because that can kind of let you know how mean the vehicle is regardless of what motors in it what tune is on it what mods have been done just hearing the cold start just puts in perspective the the, the masculinity <laughs> of the engine that's in the vehicle let's get to it One of the things that I really like being inside of this truck is how comfortable it is. You automatically know getting into a Jeep what to expect. A lot of people don't know what to expect. So they watch guys like me do reviews on these beautiful vehicles. Like I said in the other segment, you have your buttons on the fly. You have all of your controls. Your screen is touch screen. All of your controls is readily available. Down here you have your aux, you have your USB, not USB, you have, yeah, you have your USB, you have your SD, and you have a 12 volt DC, which is nothing but a cigarette lighter. <laughs> But uh, on the fly, you can go to manual on the fly. You got your controls for sand, snow, mud, and rocks. If you want to rock climb this jam. Four wheel drive low. Going down the hill if you're towing something. Even on this car, they got adaptive cruise control. So, you know, you can kind of float hands free, if you will. Some people don't trust it, some people do, but uh, it's, it is a little different being in a car and just letting the car basically do what it wants to do and you're not in control. Harman Kardon sound system, so you already know it sounds great in here. 
All of your controls is on the door. You get to flip your mirrors in. Lock the back windows like you always been able to do. Got tweeters in the door, so now you don't even have to do that yourself anymore. Like, they did a bunch of different things to this Jeep Cherokee. This is definitely not your grandfather's Jeep Cherokee. Now we're back where we started at, the front of the vehicle. And being at the front of the vehicle, I've showed you how brolic the face of it is. I have to now show you what's up with the meat on the bone. Of course you got the V6 Pentastar motor. The motor that is quite popular nowadays. You got people putting superchargers on them. Uh, you got Rip making a full bolt-on kit that goes with the Pentastar motor. But even if you didn't choose to put any type of uh, forced induction on it, this truck makes almost 300 horses by itself, naturally aspirated. And uh, it, it feels good when you're driving, it feels smooth. It, the truck doesn't feel like it needs more, if you will. You know, if you chose to put more into the truck, that would purely be your choice. But as the truck sits, truck drives good, it handles good, it's pretty decent on gas from what I've seen having the truck two days straight. Um, this is another vehicle I don't have any real quarrels about because uh, it's a good made vehicle. And you know, just like I told you guys before, if I am going to be reviewing it, it's something that I see myself in. Something that I see myself owning. And also, a truck like this right here has to suit me. Being 6'3", 250 pounds. Like, I need to know that I can have a vehicle that is rugged enough to suit me. Especially being a truck. If it's a sedan or a luxury vehicle, that's, that's something completely different. But a truck... A truck has to suit me. It has to be rugged enough to suit me during my everyday and the things that I do in my everyday life. But now that we've spoken about the front of the car, we've spoken about the inside of the car, we've spoken about the tailgate, we've spoken about the dials, we've spoken about on-the-fly controls, now we get to go take it for a ride. Having this thing just in rear wheel drive, you can really tell that all of the power is being transferred just to the rear wheels. Because if it was four wheel drive, like the, the truck wouldn't respond the way that it does. I like the way that it responds because it's real responsive. Like when you press on the gas, you go. I like the fact that it's not, you know, too much. It's not a, uh, it's not a coupe truck or a sports truck, but um, it has its perks. It's like down here. Like most of the time that I've been driving this truck, it has been on sport mode. As soon as you put it on sport mode, it turns the eco off. I turn the traction control off also.
now that we're at the end of this video for this 2016 Jeep Grand Cherokee, regardless of what's going on, who's trying to deal you what, regardless of what's going on in your life, you know who you are. You know how you see things in life. You know what you want for yourself. You know what you don't want for yourself. It takes one second to decide what you want in your life, what you don't want in your life, and how easy it is to 86 that nonsense out of your life. So regardless of what's going on with whoever, whomever, regardless of who has what to say, you have to say to yourself that you can stand above ignorance, negativity, to stand firm on what you believe in, when you're believing in yourself. If you believe in yourself, then you can say to self, self, I'm not gonna be like this, and I'm not gonna project myself in this manner. And that's why you can look at all situations, you can look at any situation, and decide how you want to handle it. So until next time, good people, regardless of who says what, and how anybody acts towards you, smile, speak positive, and wish them a nice day.